This highlight of the moment has been brought to you by the National Advertising Challenge, where big brands get big ideas. Learn more at nationaladvertisingchallenge.com. So what do you make of these, you know, organizations that want to take risks, they want to be creative, but um, but they're just so averse to it because they're wor- worried their whole world will come tumbling down? Well, I think what it is, is that if you have very low levels of job security, okay, everybody, I think there are two very bad things you can have in an organization, very high levels of job security, in which case you get a kind of civil service problem where people just go through the motions and the whole mentality is don't cock up, make it through to your next promotion, you know, don't mess up. Okay. And, you know, but equally, when you have very low levels of job security, you're only as good as your your last decision. And so, whereas, you know, it's it's always very interesting, in an ad agency, you always have to have the new business team as the same people, because they realize, okay, if we win three and lose one, that's kind of an acceptable hit rate, okay? And therefore they take slightly higher risks because they go, let's take a slightly higher dungeon approach to this bit of new business. If people only get an opportunity to work on new business once every four years, they become hugely risk averse. It's rather like that thing, which is you're not that worried if you're late for your 107th day at work, but you're pretty paranoid if you're late turning up for your first day at work. Because when you've built up a certain level of, you know, a certain reputation around reliability, then you can afford to make a mistake. Whereas if you're late for your first day at work, uh, people extrapolate from that that you're probably going to be late all the time. Okay, because it's kind of Bayesian process, isn't it? Um, of assessment. And so making a mistake on your first day is a much, much worse thing than making a mistake after you've proven your ability to get something right a few times in the past. But if you have very low levels of job security, no one will take any risks. But you also get this mistake, which is to assume that uh, to turn every business in, business problem into an optimization problem rather than perhaps an experimentation problem. And I I don't want to bore your listeners with this because anybody who's listened to me on the podcast before will know I talk about these bloody bees. But the fact that bees have evolved a system where a certain percentage of them obey the waggle dance and a certain percentage of them don't. The bees have understood in evolutionary terms that there's a trade-off between exploit and explore. And in a changing environment, of course, you need more explore and less exploit because the past is less a reliable guide to the future. And so an awful lot of business problems are solved by this is what we know. OK, therefore, based on what we know, Wiziati, let us now optimize around those data points we already have. And bees who do the waggle dance do that. They go, this is what we know about where there's a supply of pollen and nectar and water and resin, which apparently are the four things bees need. OK, and therefore we will optimize our exploitation of that knowledge. But if you don't have the random bees, one, you get trapped in a local maximum. And if the environment changes, which because of nature, it does markets are exactly the same you you basically don't know where else to go if some cows break into your favorite field and eat all the flowers you're suddenly stuffed okay but the other problem is if you don't have any random bees you never get lucky either you never get exposed to asymmetric upside discovery and quite often of course the data points that really matter in business aren't what you know already because quite often all your competitors know those things as well The data points that really are decisive in both your long term survival, but also in your chance of getting lucky are things you don't yet know. 